one of the things I've been meaning to do a video on is an upgrade I did to my mill where I replaced the stepper motors with these servo motors. Now these servo motors are a clear path from a company called Technic and uh, I'll show you the website for that a little bit later and uh, they fit right on the mill they replace a uh, NEMA 23 they also have NEMA 34 models and uh, they're so they have a built-in uh, sensor on it and so you just you plug in the power for the power supply and you plug in step and direction and these look after it and they will absolutely go back and forth to the, the same spots because this there's a uh, rotary encoder in there that's watching as it goes and uh, so the other thing it has is a USB connector on here and it comes with some software that lets you calibrate it for the mill and so you you, you put the uh, you put each of the motors on and then one at a time you run the calibration for the motor and it it just bangs and bangs it, it spins these uh, the uh, the shafts slowly but, but it'll just a little bit and it goes like bang 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 and what it's doing is looking for resonances and whatnot, and it tunes the motor for that axis. So I have one on the X, and one back there on the Y axis, and up here on the Z. Now these motors that I got are the biggest that I could get in the NEMA 23 size. And they have a 3 8 inch shaft, I had to um, drill out my uh, Lovejoy connectors f f when I took out my old stepper motors. My old stepper motors were 400 ounce inch. These are rated at 800 ounce inch. But I found that they stalled when it was uh, just uh, before I adjusted the ways properly. So, and, and I, uh, interestingly, I didn't have to adjust the ways as carefully with my stepper motors. They could power through, but these required that, that adjustment. But even so, the power is absolutely fine for all the machining I've done. And the neat thing is, they're dead quiet when they go. So if I move this back and forth here. That's dead quiet and that's running at a speed of uh, 100 inches per minute. Same on the z-axis here. And the y. So I never really realized how much noise the stepper motors were making. But when you run with these, it's like a whole new world. One of the modifications I had to make on the Lovejoy connectors here was the set screw was far too small. So when it was doing the calibration and it was pounding, pounding, this would loosen up. So what I did was I just drilled out the other side and I put in a quarter inch, a quarter 28 set screw. To, so, so those are on two opposite sides of the Lovejoy and they're uh, they hold it tightly now. I had to drill it out. I did that on the lathe, put it in the lathe and just drilled a 3 8 inch hole. Drilled it slightly undersized and then reamed it to exactly 3 8 I made these new mounts for the motor here because uh, the old ones that I had were not made to use a Lovejoy. So I needed a little extra depth here. The motors come with a cap, which I can show you up on top here, and you can see it glowing green. So w when the motor stalls out, that'll go yellow, and you have to power the motor down and back up. Another interesting thing is that the motors have a heat sink on the outside here, and they have four holes, which I believe are made for uh, 40 millimeter maybe or a 35 millimeter fan that you can put on there. 
and I got the power supply as well and it's down here I just put it in a box and I have the four power cables coming to it you want a big linear power supply you can't use a switcher so this is a 75 volt linear power supply so it'll absorb the current when the motors start stop stall out and uh, or hit a spike when they really have to work you want a power supply that has enough oomph to take the back EMF as well as to supply the necessary current to drive the motors and the way I'm driving this is on my Planet CNC board it has a 25 pin uh, DB25 connector so I just took that DB25 out here put it into a little box and on the other side I'm just pulling the step direction and enable off of the DB25 and sending it out to each of the three motors. This is the software that comes with the ClearPath motors and when it's uh, enabled right now it's hooked up to the, uh, the mill and the enable pin is on so I lose control of the motor. You can see the enable pin is there. But if I had turned off the power supply then you can actually override the inputs here. You can jog it clockwise or counterclockwise and uh, you see down here the maximum torque that uh, the motor has been displaying right now is sitting at 23 percent and uh, the maximum it's hit is 49 the motor is enabled any exceptions uh, faults they pop up here it keeps track of its count so it knows uh, or you can configure these motors so that they'll just you know move from one position to another uh, without any kind of controller other than what's built into them you can set the maximum torque up here and I've got it set at 100 percent and you can set the pulses per revolution and under setup there's this auto tune function and what you do is you go in and you you, you move it manually uh, back and forth maybe 20 30 turns then you say go and then it moves the axis within that those limits and uh, tries to apply lots of torque lots of uh, transient functions so basically it bangs you really it makes a lot of noise when it's doing it and you're you're fearful of your whole mill falling apart uh, but then it's what it's doing is it's banging it and then feeling for uh, it's watching the encoder to see what uh, kind of resonances there are in the machine so it can determine how best to to function and you can set a label for each axis so this is this one when I plug the USB in it it knows it's the 0704 x-axis and you can monitor these screens in here when the machine is working so if I move it you can see the velocity here I'm just moving the table back and forth just to give you an idea how quiet this is I've got the code up to cut out one of the sides of the motor mount here so that's on screen in the Planet CNC control software and I've zeroed the X and the Y and I'm going to hit go so there goes now I'm just cutting in air but you can just see it smoothly moves and you really don't hear the motors at all Now these stepper motors are a little bit more expensive than the I mean these servo motors are a little more expensive than a stepper motor but 
they, uh, it's nice that you don't have to worry about losing steps. You don't have to worry about uh, repeatability. It has built-in torque limiting. You just you don't have to worry about stepper drivers, any of that stuff. You just take the straight step and direction and enable outputs, wire them into the motors, and off you go. All right.